Yo, what is up guys? This is the Brick Doe here. And today I wanted to talk about the new Titanic set we're gonna be getting here. It's a set number 10294. Supposedly this is gonna be $630. And get this guys, it's gonna have over 12,000 pieces. <laughs> Let's just hold for a minute there. 12,000 pieces. I, I can't even like imagine the size of this thing. I have seen rumors that it'll be a bit over a meter long which I think it has to be with 12,000 pieces. If you think about it, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of small pieces in the detail um, of the ship, but think about like the hull of the ship. I, I'm not really sure exactly, you know, they can't, this, those pieces are gonna be pretty sizable if I had to guess, those are gonna be, have, to, have to be bricks. Um, so I know there's gonna be a lot of grieving, obviously, but I think this will be a pretty sizable ship. And I think, you know, the, uh, not only the price per piece, which is gonna be fantastic, it looks like right around five cents per piece, but it looks like probably to the you know weight per piece is going to be pretty decent as well um, but we'll have to see it look, look at those metrics when it comes out i'm excited to kind of look at that i do like seeing you know how they sort of price some of these larger sets um you know especially in comparison to something like the coliseum or you know something in that kind of same line not like a ucs star wars like the millennium falcon because obviously that being an ip and, and coming with minifigures as well it's going to have a little bit uh, of an upcharge so that sort of brings up a second question for mine. I, you know, are we going to see a different box size in that really big, you know, square box that that comes with? Uh, that has come basically for all the uh, the large sets lately. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Millennium Falcon, uh, Star Destroyer, uh, Coliseum, like all that. I'm interested to see if they come up with a, with a new box design for this with twelve thousand pieces. It's hard to imagine that that fitting in there, but it could be. Like I said, you know, we we don't know yet. Haven't seen any images per se, but like I said, we have the details here. Set number, price, pieces, and potential release date. Looks like about mid October. I'm not uh, so sure how certain that is. I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, maybe it's you know it's more of like a November time frame, like a Black Friday release, but. I could be wrong on that as well. They could be saving other sets for that for that day. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this set. I mean, you know, personally, like you guys probably know this already, but I really enjoy the larger builds. I find overall the building experience to just be a lot more satisfying, and I like sort of like the longer term process of that. I like the really thick, you know, instruction uh, instruction manual. It just for me feels like I get like a lot more out of uh, out of a set like this. I, mean, I like the play sets you know that come out too like harry potter or star wars uh for more just like collection purposes and the minifigures but as far as like build experience i really like these types of sets and so i'm, I'm hoping to get this um at some time during its lifespan it's not going to be a day one for me at this price point but we'll see how we'll see how things go i would like to also mention you know if you think about this and it just in general the progression of the world's largest lego sets we've seen a lot just in the recent years i was just thinking about that you know we had the uh basically we had the uh, ucs falcon the taj mahal super long i guess kind of time span until we till we saw more we saw the new ucs falcon really sort of breach you know a, a new sort of realm of, of peace count and then yeah, since then we've seen a lot of other larger sets too and then like i said last year you know we had the coliseum and I'm thinking like the world map, even though for me that like kind of doesn't count, but <laughs> just in general, it seems like we've gotten a ton of huge sets lately. And even that, uh, the Barcelona stadium we're getting, that's gonna be like 5,500 pieces. Lego seems to be really pushing the, the limits on the size of sets. And I think they understand too, that there's just a, there's a pretty big demand for this. And I think adult collectors uh, like myself, I, I, I think they, they're starting to sort of have the same feelings I do in that it just becomes a, a fun building experience and just more of a longer term project. And uh, I think people enjoy that overall. Like I said, this, I mean, this set's not gonna be for everybody and, and with no minifigures and it's gonna be probably pretty plain pieces, but the people who really enjoy these sort of larger displays, more of like a, um, almost like a model, you know, long-term uh, building and, and whatnot, I think, you, I think you'll enjoy this. Really excited to see when we get some official images out there and, and just see what it looks like, you know, get, get our eyes on it. But anyways, guys, please let me know in the comments below what you think of this uh, basically leak or rumor. Um, it will just be a pickup for you guys. Do you guys in general like larger scale Lego sets? What do you guys think about sort of that progression we've seen? And a little bit more of a, a push for that, I would say, in the recent few years. Anyways, if you guys are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, this is The Brick Doe, signing off.